Jordan with some very helpful tips right before Halloween. Yes, I'm getting festive and in the mood for Halloween. I've got my little spider ring. It's missing a few legs, don't worry about that. I've got my little spider hat. When you see the little hat, you know it's time for a Halloween hack. So let's get right to it. We are talking about ways to preserve your jack-o'-lantern because I've, ar I've already seen a lot of pumpkins on porches and no doubt you're gonna wanna carve into that soon. So. First tip is that you're actually going to want to cut from the bottom. Doing that will allow the liquid or the moisture to escape rather than to pull, pull at the bottom. So a really good tip there. And you're going to want to discard this piece here. Then what you're going to do is when you go to carve all these um, stringy bits out and the seeds, you're going to want to get it as clean as possible. The cleaner, the better. It'll keep it fresher a little bit longer. Then what you're going to want to do is spray the inside with a solution. Now you're going to choose either or, not do both. So you're going to want a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon, I should say, of bleach to one quart of water or a tablespoon of peppermint castile soap to one quart of water. Obviously this is not a quart of water, but we're pretending. So then you would spray all the cut and exposed areas, right? The bleach will help to kill, kill any black bacteria or mold, and the pe peppermint in the Castile soap will actually act as an antifungal. Again, either or, not both. Then after that, you want to let it dry as much as you can, and then you're going to add either a petroleum jelly or <laughs> another either or, or olive oil. So whatever you have lying around your home, you're going to want to put that in all the exposed areas that you cut as best you can, and that will actually help to keep it from dehydrating too much. Lastly, after that dries as much as it can, you're going to want to spray it with some uh, hairspray. Anti-humidity hairspray will work the best, but anyone will do. And what that's going to do is kind of allow it to, I don't know, decay a little bit slower, kind of lock everything in. So then when you're done with that hole on the bottom there, it might be good to use a flameless candle just in case since we're using some different uh, you know, products and chemicals. But you just set it right on top and you are good to go. Put it out on your porch and have a safe and happy Halloween, guys. Okay, and Great you carved tips. that pumpkin I last night, right? All by myself. Yes, I did. That's, it was a, that's a cute disgustingly one. Disgustingly great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I want you Very to good. maybe do this, right? Because you just carved it. Hopefully, we'll I know see I how long do it all lasts. These steps yeah. and kind of check in with you guys. We'd right. love to know. Yeah. That. We've got enough hairspray in this place to <laughs> do an entire patch through July, so we're good. Thanks, Jordan.